Hello ESO, uh, this is Awesome Quiet, and this is the video I promised you. Um, haven't been feeling too good the last few days, which is why I haven't gotten to this sooner. But uh, yeah, here we go. So, this is our reactor. We need one reactor rednet port, which can go anywhere basically on your reactor. I got it right here. Rednet cable to connect the rednet uh, reactor port to the programmable rednet controller. So these are the three things you're going to need. And the reason you want to have a rednet cable between these is because if this is like right next to it, which might work, you're not going to be able to access this thing anymore. And if we right click, you'll see that there's things in here we want to set up. So, I've got this set up to the back. This is actually the front of the rednet programmable controller. And so, you set up to the back, and if you look in this thing, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. We just want to deal with the pass-through one. I'll explain how this all works uh, in a minute, but this is how you want to set it up. You want to have an input. I have it set up for the back, so IOB, which stands for back. This left side is the input, and the right side is the output. And to pass through it, just going to take the input and pass it right through the output. Not going to do anything with it at all. So no operation between. And we've got the input using the orange channel and the output on the white channel. There's, I don't know if you know how this works, but uh, the rednet cables basically it's like a bundled cable with 16 different wires in it. And each wire has a different color, so we're using the orange and the white, which we've set up here, orange and white. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and explain how this works a little bit now. Um, basically, these are the functions you can use up here. You've got inputs. Um, this is the power on off, which is just going to be a digital signal. Either either you got redstone signal or you don't have redstone signal, and that'll be basically control whether the reactor's on or off. This one next to it is sort of like a dimmer control. So you can adjust exactly how much of an output you send from it. And if we set that to zero, then we're not like reducing the power in any way. Whereas at 100%, we're reducing it 100%, and we're not going to get any power out of the reactor. 50%, you'd only get half as much power out of it as you could normally generate. Um, so, yeah, and those are inputs. So you have to supply the value you want for inputs. Outputs is what the reactor is outputting to give you information. So basically, yeah, these two are the only useful inputs that I can tell and this output is the only real useful output. I mean you could try to find uses for these other things but I don't know how you'd use them <laughs> for any kind of practical things. I mean, yeah, it gives you information but how do you use that information, right? So, what we've got though is the output energy amount. This is basically the uh, how full of a charge you have on your reactor. And your reactor actually can hold some power. So if you look here, we're about 54%, so we're a little bit over halfway um, filled up. So this actually acts like a redstone energy cell in a way. And so you don't really need like extra batteries or whatever cells to buffer the power with. You can just buffer it all within your reactor itself. And so if it's empty, we're going to have like a 0%. And if it's full, we're going to have a 100% charge. And that's what this represents here, the output energy amount. That's either going to be 0 if it's empty or 100% if it's full or anywhere in between. We're at 54% right now. And the control rod insertion, you notice these match up pretty good because at 0% control rod insertion, we're not reducing the power in any way. At 100%, we're reducing it all, so there's no power coming through. So basically, if our reactor is full at 100%, then our uh, control rod should be at 100% as well. So we're not outputting any more power because we, we can't store it anyway because it's full, right? Whereas if it's completely drained, then we want to have maximum power coming out. And so 
we use the um, pass through function here just to pass the orange through to the white channel and the orange is our input from the reactor and we just send it back as output to control the rod insertion rate so because basically I mean if you think about it if you have a battery say we had a redstone energy cell set up and we output our power to the redstone cell first and then from there we go to our machines right so if our machines are using more power than we're producing then our redstone energy cell is not going to hold any power all the power that goes in is going to be drained out right away and if it had a power charge in there then we'd see a drop It'd be going from full all the way down to no power eventually and if the opposite were true if we're generating more power than our machines use then we'll see our redstone energy cell would start to charge up and become more and more full whereas let's say our energy cell is like halfway full and the power we're producing is exactly equal to the demand of our machines then we'd see it stay at halfway full right it wouldn't increase in charge and wouldn't decrease in charge not if it's perfectly balanced and so what we got going on here is you'll see that this is sitting here at 54 percent full and it's not going up it's not going down what that means is that the amount of power that our machines are using is exactly equal to how much power we're producing and we can see exactly how much we're producing here we're producing about 11,000 RF per tick which is quite a bit but we can handle even more than that actually we're only producing like 54 percent of our full power because that's what our control rod insertion rate is right now if we go up to the top and take a look Ooh, fall off and we'll see we're at 54 percent and they're all at 54 percent and that's because if we look here we've got this set up control rods all so it controls all the control rods at the same time and what basically what we're saying is you know we want 54 percent because that's what our charge level is 54.1 percent so it sets our control rod insertion rate to that much and so we're only compressing that amount 54 percent of our full amount of power that we could generate which keeps us balanced so this stays at 54 percent doesn't go up doesn't go down if our demand was higher then this would start to drop down and we'd generate more power um, the laser drills doing most of the power right now so if we go up for example let's take a look here what we got we've got yeah about eleven thousand now if I go up to the laser all right then we can see that it's yeah producing so if we turn this thing off like that and then come back down ooh, slow frame rate <laughs> All right, now if we look at this thing, you'll see we got a lot higher. It's still going up a little bit, but you see our power is dropping as well. As this gets more and more full, the power is going to drop down, and sooner or later it's going to hit, hit this equilibrium point where the input is going to be equal to the output, and then it'll stop. It's getting close, 52, and we're only about 2,000 RF per tick. So this thing, yeah, this is set up, what it's doing is it's just regulating how much power to produce based on how full this is and how full this is going to depend on how much of, uh, how much our machines draw on the power. So yeah, and we're stabilizing at about 1500 now. Pretty close. So this is how you set up a self-regulating system for your reactor it only generates as much and you notice like you know we're only using 0 0.016 millibuckets per tick 0 0.19 0 0.16 <laughs> alright so 0.16 let's go up and turn on the laser again and we'll see what the difference is um, 
up our now to come back down. So it was 0.16 before. Okay. Point one, yeah, point zero eight instead of point zero one, whatever. So we're about close to ten times as much, but we're generating about ten times as much. So as you lower the the output level that you're producing, you also reduce linearly basically how much fuel you use up as well. So yeah, if you generate less power, then you save on your fuel, which is good. The fuel's come in over here. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's how that all works. Got any other questions? Let me know. And take it easy.